And now at 5.30, Miami and FIU renewing their cross-county rivalry tomorrow afternoon. CBS 4's Mike Cuneo joins me, and I'm thinking back 12 years, that oh ugly, yeah. nasty game when they got into that fight. Uh, but these players were, what, probably six years old in first grade, and do you think this is something that they're going to think about? No, I think we can look back at this video and think about how far both of these programs have come since then. I mean, those were two frustrated programs. Miami finished that year 7-6. and six. It was one of Larry Coker's final years. FIU was 0-12 that season. You're right, the kids who are in this game now were very young, probably don't even remember this. But I, I, I think we look at this as kind of a lesson. And look, these programs have way too much to lose at this point. Miami's trying to be a national powerhouse again. FIU is trying to get in the conversation in Conference USA. Neither team wants to see this happen. I think the players on both sides will be smart. You think uh, Coach Butch Davis of FIU, who used to be at the U, will be thinking about something like that? What does he have to focus on? Well, the thing with FIU is they really got to stop Miami's front seven. That defensive line has been great. Look, Miami last week against Toledo, pretty clean game. No, no penalties, no turnovers. Malik Rozier played great. But that front line is one of the best in the country, less than 100 yards per game given up. They're number one in the nation in tackles for loss. If Miami imposes their will right there against a good FIU running team, Miami should be able to win this game. Miami favored by over 20 points. It shouldn't. It probably shouldn't be a contest as long as that F, uh, that Miami line gets some push. And these guys probably have known each other for years, right? They've been playing. There, there yeah. are a lot of local kids at FIU and Miami. You think that'll be a factor? Yeah, yeah. I actually do think it's going to be a factor a little bit here because you're right. Look, they played in Pop Warner. They played uh -huh. against each other in high school. FIU, don't be confused. FIU's got speed. They can score. Last week they dropped 63 on UMass. That was a school record. They've got. Uh, a great stable of running backs. There's a running back catching a deep ball right there. That just kind of shows you the kind of speed that they have. Look, if FIU can play a clean game, not turn over the football, they've got enough experience in that guy, Butch Davis. Look, Butch was 3-1 and one against the Canes when he was coaching at UNC. He knows how to beat this Miami program. If they can play a clean game, if they can control that UM defensive front, FIU has a shot. But... It's a slim shot. Okay. Yeah. A clean game that we all want to yes. see that, that's for sure. Mike, thank you very much. The Canes